Positive Parenting with Astrology. I'm your host and resident Gemini, Maria Rieger, and today we're talking about Aries season. This is a very exciting time. On March 21st, the sun moved into the sign of Aries. This marks the beginning of the astrological new year. Aries, as we know, is the first sign of the zodiac. It is associated with the first house, which is the house of self. Aries people kind of are, are encouraged to propel themselves and insert themselves on the stage of life to make sure that everyone knows about their existence and their presence. Aries is a cardinal masculine energy sign. So because it's a cardinal sign, the cardinal energy encourages it uh, to always be forward moving, intent on achievement, intent on progression. They don't like stagnation. They don't like to stay the same, okay? So we can use this Aries energy to our advantage. Aries is an ego-oriented sign. It's about what I want, what I am. This is a good thing because many of us, myself included in the past, have always put the needs of others ahead of our own needs, sometimes to our own detriment in health and other areas. So this is not the time to do that. This is the time to think about what you want, who you are, what your goals are, and take those concrete, actionable steps toward your goals. And we have a couple of important transits occurring in Aries season, one in March and one in April, that really support us in taking action, specific steps and actions toward meeting our goals. So in the beginning of Aries season, around March 22nd, Mercury in the sign of Pisces was conjunct Jupiter also in the sign of Pisces. This particular transit allows us, provides a good basis for us to dream big and also to kind of manifest our dreams and uh, make the communications and connections necessary to manifest our dreams. It's a time to think, analytically think about those dreams and desires that we want to achieve. And I will say that Mercury being in Pisces also tends to produce vivid dreams that are kind of messages or even warnings from our subconscious. So I'd very much encourage you to write down your dreams as soon as you wake up in the morning. If I don't do that, I totally forget about my dreams, unless it was something really impactful. But try as best you can to write down your dreams, especially your really vivid, powerful dreams, as soon as you wake up in the morning to then go back later and think about kind of what your subconscious is trying to communicate to you. And the second really big transit for Aries season that I want to bring up, the second positive transit, is uh, Jupiter will be conjunct to the planet Neptune. They will both be in the sign of Pisces. This will be around April 12th. This particular placement, Jupiter and Neptune conjunct, both being in the sign of Pisces, is a once in a lifetime transit. We will not see this transit again in our lifetime. The last time this transit occurred in the sign of Pisces with both planets in the sign of Pisces was in the late 1800s. This is an excellent manifestation opportunity. Pisces is associated with the 12th house. The 12th house is an open gate through which we bring things from the spiritual plane, from the plane of our imagination into the material plane of existence. Jupiter is a planet of expansion. Neptune is in its home sign of Pisces. Neptune rules Pisces. Again, this is a very powerful transit. And on or around April 12th, I strongly encourage you to sit down, write out everything you wanna manifest write out how your statements about how you want your life to be, how you want your life to look like, and use the energy of this transit to bring forth those desires and wishes into the material plane. This is an excellent opportunity to do that. That does not mean you don't necessarily take any actions. Aries, the Aries energy currently supports you in taking actions. Take inspired actions. So the way manifestation works is when you're really manifesting something, you will take action, but it's inspired. It's almost like the universe is acting through you. You will do the action and there should not, you should not feel too many blockages toward taking the action. It should be pretty smooth, flow smoothly. That is the universe kind of working through you so that you bring your manifestations to life. So the Aries energy supports our taking action. And in order to have a clearer picture of the actions you need to take to manifest your goals into reality, you need to cut out a lot of the, a lot of the chatter. So you need to have a clear mind. And I always say ways to do that include taking a solo walk, meditating, things like that, doing activities 
that force you to clear your mind. So that way, when you have a clearer mind, you allow in kind of those inspired actions and steps, right? They come to you naturally. A lot of us find that when we meditate or when we take a solo forest walk, I do a lot of those, we will kind of have these thoughts that we would not have otherwise because during other times when we're not meditating or we're not in a reflective state, our minds are full of this clutter and chatter all the time. When we're in a more meditative state or a reflective state, when people are not asking us for things or we're not distracted, we have these inspired thoughts. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do. And the last big transit I want to talk about is more of a harsher transit. So around the end of Aries season, around April 18th, the sun in Aries will be squaring Pluto. Pluto is currently in the sign of Capricorn. So when planets are squaring each other, the energies of the planets are harder to reconcile. This is a harsher transit. The sun in Aries does not always want to compromise and to make changes, to make transformations, but the power of Pluto is compelling you to make these transformations that may be harsh and even unpleasant and unwelcome, but necessary. So the way to handle this transit is to think carefully before you act, because this transit could lead to additional arguments, even harsher, even hurtful arguments. So I would encourage you to really watch your words with your partner, with your kids, make sure that what you are communicating comes from a place of, this is a necessary communication. You're communicating from a place of love and affection, not from a harsh place of criticism. Even if you're frazzled, even if you're stressed, or we all are at times, watch your words carefully, write down your thoughts. If you're you know, having a day where you're really pissed off, I have those too, and you need to get thoughts out, write them down, as opposed to risking you know, hurting your partner, hurting your kids, and then feeling remorse for that, right? That's harder to deal with. So just be aware of that uh, during that, that transit, and then that will kind of usher us in into a more stable Taurus season, but we'll have to get through that sun square Pluto transit uh, toward the end of Aries season around April 18th. But all in all, this Aries season, I am very excited for it. It supports us in taking those steps, those actions that we need to meet our goals. And this is a wonderful opportunity where the universe is supporting us to move forward. So I encourage you to take action. Think before you take action, but still take action to your goals. All right. Thanks for listening. And please subscribe to my channel to get your regular positive parenting with astrology content, including information on current planetary transits. And you can join my mailing list by clicking the link in the uh, video description. Thank you so much.